Hi guys, welcome back to my second video of my um, design team project for the month of April. I just printed a whole bunch of pages onto my antique paper and what I did, um, I created a 7x10 frame in my InDesign, Adobe InDesign. So when you fold it, you have a 5x7 page. And then I used a, a white box and I made it a little, sh little smaller than 4x6 inches. And I just centered it here and here, like in each half. And now I'm cutting them out so I have frames because those will be uh, the photo frames um, that will hold the photos in my little album. Um, but first, for these ones, I gotta trim those because obviously the letter size paper is too big. And I was like, hmm, should I use like a die before I had the idea of putting that, uh, that rectangle on to the paper in InDesign? It's like, should I use an, a die or should I use like cut it by hand or should I use my uh, like scan cut or um, silhouette cameo? And then when I was cutting out this, like the whole paper, I was like, wait a minute, I can just trim it out in my. Um, with my trimmer <laughs> so that's what i'm doing and that's what i did here uh, i'm not going to do this on camera because i have to put my head right over it so i can see where to stop cutting and then you won't see it so i'm just gonna cut this out real quick and i have my cat visiting in case you hear noises cat noises i have very noisy pets it's either the dog licking or the cat I don't know what she's doing. Getting into stuff. Yep. So I hope you're all having a good good day. Um, it is Thursday here. And, oh, see? She's trying to get behind the, uh, between the wall and my drawer cabinet. And it's like this much space. And my cat is like this. <laughs> this is wide. Cat, you can't fit. Um... Yeah, so my husband and I just took a walk through our over um, property because he showed me all the, like where he worked because he did a lot of um, wood chipping and he blew, used a big leaf blower to blow all the like old leaf. What are you doing, cat? See, all the leaves and all kinds of stuff. So yeah, he's been doing really a lot of work and it looks great. So then he uh, was telling me what his other plans were for our yard yep and luckily the um black flies weren't too bad this morning i left the house and they were all over us when i dropped my daughter off at daycare stupid black flies as soon as it gets nice in 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 uh, maine in the spring all the black flies come out okay so i'm trying to do this without putting my head in the uh, oof, now my cat's tickling my foot. Yeah, I don't know if I can do this with not putting my head over this. Because I gotta line this up. And then on usually on trimmers you have like this line here that lets you know exactly where your blade is. So you can line this up to cut right to this um, line here. Oh, it actually worked. And now she's trying. Where did you go? Oh my gosh, <laughs> this cat. <laughs> if you hear some like a big crash, it's my cat on my other table over there on my desk. Alrighty. Yeah, yesterday and today was really nice out, and then tomorrow is supposed to have rain all day, but that's fine. We need the rain. Okay, so that didn't that didn't turn out too bad. Cut a little bit too much, but that's fine. You won't see it. And then I'm gonna back it with acetate. I'm gonna do this. I think I'm gonna do the rest off camera so it goes quicker. All right, so I've cut those out, and um, as you can see, I have two um pages that have a small window um that's a oops that's about the half 
half of the big window because sometimes when I print photos on my um, little photo printer, um, I print two on one sheet so I can have like a small photo in here. Like, so it's like landscape and all the other ones are portrait. And now I'm going to try to carefully um, distress the edge a little bit before I put um, acetate. Oops, oh my gosh, I'm going to tear one of those. <laughs> you know how my last video has, uh, has gone, like where I messed up with all the measuring. Okay. Let's see if that works. Yeah, helps a little bit. Just adds a little bit more each. Today is actually the one year anniversary of Blind Out Arrows uh, Etsy shop. So I think for the month of May she has um some good sales going on and she also has a um, giveaway but I think yesterday may have been the last day to sign up so never mind on that but um, you should totally check out her shop I gotta do some shopping myself while it's still on sale okay so And yes, there are some pages where I actually cut, like, uh, this one? I think this one of them has, like, birds on it. Oh, this one has birds. You can see the feather, the tail feather, and here was a bird. But um, it's just a different way to use, use your papers, because it's like a nice border, but you don't see the whole image. So it looks different than um, if you were to use the whole whole image or the whole page I mean goodness now I have two cats in here <laughs> just waiting for the dog my husband usually doesn't come down here and my daughter's asleep so the pets like to hang out with me I don't, you don't really see it on this one because it's very busy just gonna put a little bit distressing on like those lighter uh, parts okay so um, now what I want to do we're gonna have other papers obviously we're not just gonna use this one. Oh, these are my tags I haven't cut those out yet um, let's say I am going to use another one of those pages And so I will actually glue this on here, uh, glue it here, glue it here. Either I'm going to make a top, make it like a top pocket with the acetate or a side pocket. I'm not sure yet, or maybe both. And then um, this can be a writing page. But because we have multiple pages uh, in, the, in the signature, these are not on the same page. So there will be a writing page here writing page here so I what my plan plan was that um, I don't have two photos on the same page or on the same like when you open the page or the book um, that are opposite of each other I'm gonna make sure that I don't put those upside down <laughs> you know how good I am at putting stuff upside down um, yeah anyway so that's my plan if it works I don't know this is just something I'm making up in my head as I go along. Um, I have to get my acetate. Hold on. Um, gotta find it. Oh, found it. Okay, so this is also from Amazon. This is actually, um, oh, cat. Uh, called blank stencil sheets. It's 12 by 12 um, inches. And it's really nice um, acetate. And you get 25 sheets. So that's not too bad. And I've used it um, for other projects before, and it has a really nice thickness. Obviously, you can use any packaging if you have any. Um, I bought in the past, I bought like a little bag, a little package of acetate. It was really pricey, like, I don't remember where I bought it. 
I don't think I bought it in a brick and mortar store. I think I bought it like online. But I did not uh, like it because you're so limited. Here you can like create big windows and big things, which I like better. Okay, so let's see how we're gonna do this. Probably gonna <laughs> cut this with my cutter. Well, okay, so it needs to be, ah, and there's a cat hair attached to it. <laughs> These are very staticky, so you might want to use an anti-static tool. Actually, like a, a dryer sheet could help. Oh, what's I gonna... oh, now the cat wants to leave again. Oh, you're staying here now, kitty. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I'm gonna cut it about seven. I to figure out how I'm gonna uh, turn this. Shh. Oh, that could work. Oops. Okay, let's see if that worked. Ooh, I'm gonna scratch this. Okay, so, I don't know if you can see it, there's my acetate, and there's the window. <sighs> Stupid cat hair, go away. And then, well, I still have to trim it a little bit more, but then I would just glue it in the back. Um, let's cut this a little shorter. Just a teensy weensy bit. You would think my cats are my craftroom for the very first time. Because now they have to explore everything, even though they've been they sleep in here actually at night. So I'm not sure what's going on. Blackberry. Gotta trim this a little bit. Cut it crooked. Okay, that's better. So now I was gonna take my tape runner. I'm just gonna tape right around the the edge here. Oh, there's stuff on it. Ooh, gotta be careful. Ah, what? Apparently. I'm out of practice. <laughs> uh, maybe I refilled it wrong. Ugh, I'm stuck to my paper. of glue. Come on, because they make a bump under the paper. Don't need that. Okay. Now we should be able to put our window on here. Okay, I just had to let the cat out because he was uh, driving me bonkers. Okay, I just realized, I think earlier I said it's Friday. It's Thursday. And the funny thing is, all day long I've been thinking it's Friday. <laughs> I woke up at like 5, I'm like, oh, it's Friday. Uh, no. And then during the day I thought, oh, it's Friday. No. 
And then earlier, when we came back in from our little walk, uh, I thought it was Friday. I'm like, no, it's Thursday. So weird. I don't know why I think keep thinking it's Friday. So I gotta work tomorrow. Oh, maybe because I usually have every other Friday off, but this week I didn't. I'm taking a, um, I'm taking a Monday off because I got stuff to do on Monday. So yeah, I am confused. Chibi chibi chip. Can you hear my husband walk around? Is he coming down here? Nope. Okay, so now we have windows. And I could fold it in half. Or I'm going to glue it on something else first, I think. Now, when you glue it on here, you got to be careful that you don't glue your pocket shut. <laughs> Unless you want to do it like a, a shaker. Um, which I don't want to do. So, what? Maybe I put a coffee dyed paper in the back. Oh my gosh, cat hair, go away. The drawback of having a cat or a dog when you craft. <laughs> okay, but I want a different, uh, different paper. Do I want this one? Maybe. No, I think I'm going to go with this one since this is the same, I think. Okay, so now I gotta figure out if I want to make these uh, No, what's the top? I think that's the top. Okay, if I want to make this a side pocket or I think I'm gonna make this a top pocket and this a side pocket. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my um, one inch circle punch. And I'm gonna put one of those thumb pole thingies in here. Let's see if I can actually get it to the middle, like centered. Chips. I punched some of the acetate as well. And I'm going to um, I'm going to distress this a little bit because then you see where you can actually take the photo out or put it in. And then for this one, I think I'm going to do it on top. And then I figured I can uh, put a little card or label or something here or leave it blank. Uh, so uh, you can write something for that photo, I guess. I don't know. I just figured I'd, I don't want to use just um, big photos. Oof. Okay, I think I might stress the edges all the way in the, in the end before I bind the um, the journal because or photo album because I kind of don't want to do it right now. <laughs> Even though I like it, but I know it's gonna take take a while. Okay, so you know, yeah. Let's see. Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna glue this. So this. We can definitely put glue all the way this side because we're putting the photos in on the bottom. And then I can put glue here. Oh, and then for here, I'm just going to use my glue stick. could probably do all of this with the glue stick, but I'm not so sure about, like, the acetate. And then I can do the top. Okay, that should work. Okay, so, and then we need glue down here.
Wish me luck, people. <laughs> I hope I'm not doing it wrong. Okay, and then we can definitely put glue in here and all over here. Okay, that should work. Ugh, and of course now I have glue on here. Why did I do that? It'll dry. Just gotta rub it off. Okay. Can just move this down a little bit. And we're stuck. So one pocket, two pockets. And then we can just cut around here. Which I'm going to do. So let's see. Pretend this is my photo. I can stick it in here. Come on. Photo one. And then the other one. Let's see. Is there a small one? Yes. Goes in here. Ta -da! Oop, this includes my cat hair. Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna push it further in. There you go. Gone. Okay, neat. So, and you can write on the back. I recommend writing on the back before you put the photo in. Um, because you don't want to like push through the photo with your pen. But now it'll say this is going to be a page. Yeah, one thing you have to be careful of is how wide your acetate is because you don't want the acetate to go over the center of the page. So now I can sew this into my signature, one of the many pages, and then uh, you have this lovely um, thing in here. So another page is going to be like this, and so let's say that's going to be in here, and then you can journal, 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 ooh, photo, journal, 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 photo, journal, journal, journal. So I don't know if I'm going to have a photo on every page or not. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but I'm gonna have more than six, uh, 32 pages. I don't know yet. I'm gonna put a whole bunch of pages that I can, or oh, as much as I can fit in here. And this is one of them. I think that looks really pretty. Uh oh, they might stick out though. Ew. Okay, I might have to trim them. That's fine. And it's gonna be like the skater mouth because there's like no spine here. <laughs> so yeah, I am going to do the other ones and then I will be back. Okay, I am back and I've done a few other things too. So I have uh, put together my signature. So I'll just stick this whole thing in here and show you guys. When you open it, coffee dyed paper, then you have this first um, photo thing, some nice coffee dyed paper. There's another photo thing, more journaling uh, pages, and then we have another photo th 
is my cat doing now? Hope she found something to play with. Um, another pocket. More journaling space. And I'm going to probably um, embellish them like those blank pages a little bit more. And then another pocket. That's the middle. And then there's another one. Here's the bot bottom small one. <clears throat> I just love this paper. Oh, it's so beautiful. And then we have a big one where you have the side. It's the, the, it opens on the side. And then here's another one. And last one. So I also trimmed them on the side a little bit. It's still sticking out a little bit, but it's not too too bad. Um, when you fill this stuff, it's going to be a little gator mouth. And then um, because I want to put a pocket in here, because remember, I glued this in wrong, upside down. I printed this paper. It's like, hey, I can cut the circle out. Cut the circle out and I enforce it a little bit with some uh, other scrapbook paper. And then I sew it around it. I'm going to distress the edge. And I'm just going to glue it in here so it's like a tuck spot. So you can see... Uh, if you have any papers, you can just chips, tuck them in here. It's a little different. Um, yeah. And then I also printed these guys because I'm thinking about either using this one or this one um, as the cover, like label, the, the tag or nameplate of the journal. Yep, so that's all I did for today. And I guess my next video we can assemble this thing and embellish it and then we're done so um let me know what you think in the comments below give my video a thumbs up if you like it and i will talk to you in my next video thanks so much for watching guys i hope you are well bye